Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I'm back with another craft with me. Um, and today I thought I would show you um, how to make a quick Christmas uh, journal using uh, a, big a big envelope and a piece of fabric. Uh, I've done this sort of thing before, but I didn't do a Christmas version. So this is one that I've just pulled together and it has a pocket here pocket here and it has once again a pocket here and a pocket here. So I thought why don't we just very quickly put one of these together. These are four and a half roughly by eight and three quarters so it's a good travel journal size. Okay well let me give you a quick sh shot look at the inside. I've used some toque paper there and then I've got some nice digitals from Rachel from her various Christmas digital kits. I have them all. <laughs> Love them. There's that as the center and I've sewn it with the sewing machine and you could absolutely sew it uh, by hand if you wanted to. Okay, so let's get started. So I have a 9 by 12 uh, envelope and you could use whatever size you have. I have taken a piece of fabric and I've cut it to just a little bit more, a little bit bigger, uh, by about a quarter of an inch on either side. So all I'm going to do, because there's some sewing in this, we don't have to glue to the edge and I want to make sure, I'm going to stay about a quarter of an inch from the edge, I'm using my art glitter glue, it works really well on fabric, um, but you could use whatever you had, uh, fabric tack is fabulous for this as well. So I tend to do about half and then I'm going to position my fabric. And apologies, I'm, I'm filming in the evening. And it is a super dark day as well, but I am uh, filming in the evening. So let me see, am I about the same over there? And I'm just pulling that a little bit tight. You can see the, the uh, glue, the white coming through a little bit. That will glue, that will glue, that will dry clear. And then I'm just going to but not get to the edge because, like I said, I'm going to use my sewing machine and I don't want to gum up my machine. So, and then once again here as well. Actually, the top we can, we're not going to uh, sew, use a machine at the top. So that's okay to put, in fact, you should put glue right to the top. Okay, so just making sure. Then I get all the way up there. You can see it's already starting to dry there. Like so. And we know that's the top. Um, I will wait for it to dry a little bit before I cut that off. So, the other thing I want to do, I'm just going to pull that down so you can see it. Um, I'm going to use some toque paper. Uh, and I know I don't have to go all the way to the bottom because I am indeed going to be um, folding that up. So I'm just going to cut that to where I need it. And you could cut it with your scissors or I have my little cutter here. And I apologize for being so close to the camera, but um, I'm having some challenges getting everything on my worktop at the moment so it will be it will be repaired <laughs> at some before too long I hope so this one again I'm going to just go leave about a quarter of an inch except for the top and we don't have to worry about the bottom because we're not sewing where it is on the bottom well, we might be a little bit, so maybe be a little careful with that too. So just put your glue on there, like so. I hope you guys are all well, and I hope you had a great Thanksgiving. That's upside down. Okay. There we go. Um, I hope you had a great Thanksgiving, and where possible you were able to see family and friends. So I'm just going to make sure that's flattened out, like that, and then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut 
just inside, maybe not quite an eighth of an inch. So that is the top of my bag. Toss that to the side, or the top of my envelope. When I did this before, I did it with bags. So I wanted to put, where did I put my, I'm forever uh, putting my um, hole punch somewhere else. Ah, here it is. So I want to put a little notch in here. And I know from doing the last one that if the side is about a quarter or a half an inch, then I should be okay. There we go. And then I'm going to do this one as well. Again, about that's a little more than half an inch, but that's fine. Um, and if they're not perfectly centered, we're not going to lose any sleep over that. Okay. So I'm going to get my machine, and hopefully it won't be uh, a hindrance to us. Let me just put the top in my glue to make sure we're good. Always have to kind of plan these because I only have 30 minutes on my recording device. <clears throat> so I'm going to bring my machine up. Okay, you can just see there on the corner where I'm going to be sewing. And I'm going to sew across this edge that's going to be folded up, this edge here. And I'm going to do a zigzag. And I'm going to watch what I'm doing from the side where, so I know where the glue is. So I'm just going to go right to this edge. And I apologize for the noise. Let's take that out. Okay, so see our sewing there. Gosh, I hope you can see that okay. So you're sewing there. And then I'm going to fold this up. And I want it to come to almost just a little over eight and a half. So I'm looking at my I'm looking at my grid here. So I'm just gonna move my machine a little bit so you can see a little bit better. So I'm gonna fold that in half, line it up with the side. Um, that looks very crooked, doesn't it? looks very crooked so just try and adjust it a little bit that looks much better okay so we've got our measure here eight and three quarters eight and three quarters perfect so the next thing I want to do is I want to sew down and around those sides and you could use a straight stitch if you want it I'm going to use a zigzag and I'm just going to use it on the edge of my envelope that I can see where the paper is. Now, you don't have to sew on these. You could absolutely just do it all with glue. You would just have to glue much uh, more thoroughly than I did. going to go across the bottom, mostly because I like the look. It doesn't need to have the sewing across the bottom. I just think it looks nice. Okay, and then I'm going to come back up, making sure we catch that envelope. because we are going to use it again. So we have our uh, piece all sewn. You could cut your threads if you were going to cut your threads here. I am going to cut them this time. I don't always cut my threads. Okay, so now what you want to do, thank you, I mean you could fold it this way if you want it, but I want those on the inside. So now you're going to fold it in half and try and line it up as much as you can. It's quite stiff, which is great, 
because that'll make for a nice sturdy cover like that and see there's no buckling and when we sew in the signature what that does is it uh, puts a crease down there and it creates makes it so that nothing migrates from this pocket to the next pocket okay that's excellent so papers I've already selected papers uh, and these were papers I had on hand uh, and these are Rachel some Rachel digitals and I've got a piece of construction paper I have some uh, coffee stained uh, drawing paper some coffee stained copy paper and a couple more of Rachel's beautiful digis now I kind of want this to be my first one I just love that I love that cedar image so I'm going to put that first I'm going to set this image or this page in here like that try and make sure I'm on screen and set that in there and I'm going to put the red one in here this is the construction paper I'm going to set this in there the coffee paper and then the bird so that's going to look really nice and I'm just going to kind of hug it in to the crease looking to make sure I've got a little bit of the bag there and a little bit equally on the top and I'm just going to turn this around I'm going to put it on a straight stitch and I'm going to put it on a the highest straight stitch that I have now you could and I actually recommend you do this <laughs> but I'm not going to um, you could absolutely clip this so that you know everything is where you want it I'm not going to do that and that's because we're doing this tutorial I'm going to go right down the center second. I'm going to turn my machine off and get it out of the way because it does take up a lot of real estate up here. All right. So I'm just going to press that down. I've got my, found my bone folder guys, which is great. And I am going to just take my pages and fold them so that things lie a little flatter. I think there's eight pages in here um, and there was no magic to that it's just what I had laying around so you could definitely put a little bit more I wouldn't put more than depending on how temperamental your machine is I wouldn't put uh, more than um, 10 pages and certainly if you're using cardstock I would have even less pages so we'll cut that I'll link to the video I've done before, sorry, where I've made these uh, as a botan little botanical book. So here we have page, our little flip through, and I'm loving it. It is super cute. Uh, and you could use it for December Daily if you wanted. Um, absolutely. So, yeah. Love these colors together. And uh, there we go. So if I put that under something heavy tonight, it will it will lay much flatter. But you can see you don't see the white of the glue anymore, which is cool. Now the other thing I thought would be fun, um, on the other the last one, I took one of the tags that we did in my most recent video, and I just cut I cut the top of the tag. You could leave it there, but I just wanted something rectangular. So that looks really pretty. Uh, she would look lovely there. You could take a, not that one's not doing it for me as much. This Santa's nice. I like that Santa. I think that's my favorite one so far. Or you could put something like this. This was one of the little um, washi 
not washi, uh, a tag tuck spot that has some washi on it. Actually, I do like that one. We could cut the sides down a little if we found it was too wide. And then there's that one. I've used her a lot. Um, I am tempted by that one. How much I should take off the sides. Let's have a check and see if I can take the sides off a bit. And uh, I don't mind it having the shape of a tag, uh, but I think I'd like to take a little bit off so that it um, doesn't take up so much of the um, of the space. So that makes it three and three quarters if I do that. So I'm just going to take my art glitter glue and stick this on. So this was a, a um, tag blank that I got from Took, at Took's craft table. And um, she's her name is always linked in my videos, as is uh, Rachel from Roxy Creations. I do have that correct. I do. <laughs> So, I'm going to set that there. You can see I've got a bit of glue coming out there. I'm just going to set that there. And see if I can get it to lay flat. Yeah, it's already starting to adhere. The art glitter glue is so good that way. Just like little Santa there. Okay, so what I also want to do is I think I'd like to cover up in here this little divot on both sides. So I have some paper. Where's the paper we just cut off? This is uh, some of that paper, but I think I might want to use something a little bit more Christmassy. So I have, let me move this out of the way, I have this piece of um, Christmas paper. Let me turn this upside down so it might have a better chance of laying flat. And I'm just going to trim around this. That'll help. Trim around this, and then we can use some of this paper on that uh, little divots part. I think it will look that it will work well. We don't need a lot. You could use washi for it too, um, if you wanted. So I think what I want to do is just think about an inch and a half in that in that territory. And about an inch and a half. I'll move this. And I feel like I'm only going to need about half of this. So I've got both the journals so I can uh, if I have time I'll also do it in the other the other journal as well. Okay. So what I wanted to do is uh, just take this paper and get it in here so that you see something a little more Christmassy with the with the uh, that little um, notch that's there. So um, I don't think I want to use our glitter glue for this because it's going to be tough to maneuver it. If this is a good good time for I think glue stick. Okay, let me use the back of this. And I'm just going to put some glue stick on here. And this is more than I need as well, but that's fine. I'm just going to turn that around and attempt, <laughs> attempt to get that in there. Okay, it's working. And if I don't get it as low as I want, I can always cut it off and it didn't go as low as I wanted. That's fine. I can let that dry. 
and then I can cut that off. So I can do this side as well. And that's my watch telling me I've I've won a prize. Now it's telling me that I've probably closed my uh, move or my exercise circle or something of the like. So, yeah, so we've got that. I'm going to open this up a bit so that I can cut that off. So this will make for the 25th video in my Christmas daily pay playlist. And so um, I'm, not, I'm not going to do, I'll, I will do some December daily things, but I'm not going to do like a traditional day one, this is what I'm doing kind of thing. Um, and I will share what I do for sure. Uh, but this way we can, um, you can go to my playlist with the 25 uh, items and you can actually choose uh, if you want any one of those ideas for your December daily if you'd like. I think that would be kind of fun to do. Now I could, I will do that for the other journal as well. Um, put the little colored paper in the divots but in the meantime I'm just going to fold that a little bit more. Um, in the meantime, what do I have that I might, do I have something I might want to put on those pouches? The inside pockets, I think I might. Um, so it might be kind of fun. We'll put, let's just do this for now. Put that cute tag in there. And, wow, that's the same. <laughs> you better put him up. You better put this Santa up here because otherwise he's the same background fabric and this Santa here and I thought maybe it would be fun to use uh, some of this Tim Holtz stuff. I've got some oh there you go I didn't um, I didn't uh, adhere it so that's good. So we could use, oh that's nice, we could have something like that that says a happy Christmas on here. Um, I like the 24. I was hoping I had some more of those, like the ones that say merry or cheer. Uh, I don't seem to have that. I guess I've used them all. The December 25 is kind of cute. You know what this would be kind of cute is if you what if we oh, do I have my whole punch do we have time I think we do oh these stars are fun <laughs> squirrel I saw something else that I liked okay what if I'm going to take him out of there for now maybe we'll put this towards the center but what if this is going to look awkward, and there's a reason. It is. And we put a hole here where that hole is. Is it going to let me do it? Do you know what? I need to mark it. There we go. I'll mark it instead. Is this pen going to work? That's the next question. Nope. That pen doesn't work. Maybe I'll see with the pencil. Yeah, I can see. It kind of it kind of debossed it, didn't it? Okay. Now I'm gonna put that in here. And I'm gonna attempt this guys. Well, wow, that's not going to work. Um, I did not plan that. Well, I clearly I did not plan it. That's kind of the fun bit, isn't it? Okay, we can take this. If we turn it around this way, <laughs> I 
I feel like I, I might be able to see. Okay, there it is. You should see the weird angle I'm on here. And then I feel like that's where the other one is, right there. Now, if these don't match up, that's fine. We can live with that. All right. Put my pencil back and let's use some twine. Oh, that twine just does not like me, does it? I think I have some more. I have some um, jute twine. Let's try that. See how we go. So I'm going to try and come up from the bottom here. And I'll try and do the other side too. There we go. And you can see where I started to punch a hole there, but it hasn't gone through. So I'm not going to worry about it. Through here, go through here. I don't know why I'm going to this extra bother, but I just thought it might look cute. <laughs> and I'm just going to tie it in a knot. Just kind of hold it there. And I'm just going to cut the ends off. This would be a good spot to hang a, um, like a charm or something. I think that would be really cute. Okay, so I've done that. Um, I think that's kind of cute. Guys, <laughs> any support on that one? So we'll set that in there. That looks really cute. I can still see a bit of that um, envelope back here. Oh well, I'll... Uh, I'll fix that later. And then back here we could put something as well. Um, I think that's a bit bright. We could have that and then have something that tucks in it. I think that would be cute. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to have to finish up here in a second. So if we put a little bit of glue here and we can decorate the other one up a little. I'll either come back and do that on video or I will show you what I've done after the fact. Uh, so we've got that, which is really cute there. And then you could do something like putting in one of these cute cards or another tag that you might make there as well. All right. Well, I'd say that's our project for today. Um, I've made a bit of a mess, but we did manage to get our little envelope, uh, fabric covered envelope uh, journal made together, uh, put together fairly quickly. Let's see if that's got to dry. But I'm really pleased with how fast that came together. And of course, you get to put a, a big tag up there. And then this is the other one. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned. I'll have some more videos, but like I said, um, go to my uh, December uh, playlist if you want. Uh, December Daily, and there's also a Christmas Journals playlist, which has a lot of the same things in it, but it also has the journals that I have made um, for other people as well. Uh, so, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.